Not like this! What it do, Ski? It's your boy, Farewell34, and today, I'm here with my reaction video to Doctor Who. This one is a continuation of the last episode, which was two-parter, which was the one where we were underground, there's a whole society, seems like there's gonna be negotiations, old ancient reptilians who were on Earth before the humans, so, you know, your boy had a representative around. Simultaneously intertwining with the episode and my Canadian ness because I'm Canadian in case anyone didn't know that As always if you enjoyed this one then be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and With that being said, let's just dive right into this one y'all The doctor seems to uh, want nobody to die however, the negotiations of war stipulate death This is the story of our planet, Earth, of the day a thousand years past when we came to share it with the race known as humanity. It is the story of the doctor who helped our races find common ground and the terrible losses he suffered. It is the story of our past and must never be forgotten. This place is enormous and deserted. The majority of the race are probably still asleep. We need to find Amy. You're sure this is the best way to enter? Front door approach, definitely. Always the best way. Hostile life. <laughs> Area 72. Apart from the back door approach, that's also good. Yeah. Sometimes better. <laughs> human female appears to be more resistant to the cold than the male. I dressed. For real! Leave her alone! You got me! Decontamination complete. Commencing dissection. Yeah! And stay out! You don't want the smoke, fam. <laughs> you really made that. Oh. Oh no, our boy. What is it? Elliot. Look. Is that Elliot? It's Elliot. Oh, he's in there. We have to get him out. Elliot! Oh. Elliot is dead! Access denied. Unauthorized genetic imprint. Stop. Seriously, we can't get him. There's my boy in there. These screens, they're monitoring something. I think they're vital signs. Heartbeats, pulses. Why else would he be wired up? He's still alive. We've got a spooky soundtrack, too. We find weapons. You told us you were the police. It was a misunderstanding. Who are you? You and the doctor. Why is this happening to us? What did we ever do? The doctor will get your son back, I promise. In the meantime, we take turns guarding the creature. Oh, so that's it. We just sit and wait. And then we exchange her for your family. I promise you, Ambrose. So the I trust the doctor with my life. We stick to his plan. Keep that creature safe. <laughs> No way we get an earlier generation. I'd be shook. <laughs> Midway through the season. <sighs> Come, my son. Why aren't you dead? You're carrying my venom in your blood. You should have died. Why aren't you dead? Show me. If you help me, I can help you. If you could cure me, I could help you escape. Mm -hmm. You see, you beg and offer betrayal so ad. Why would I want to escape when I can watch you die? The first ape death of the coming war. Call me an ape one more time, I fucking dare you. <laughs> I'm only neutralizing all your ape. I actually like the character design for these ones. Look at the scans. Mistake. Military commander. Oh dear, really? There's always a military, isn't there? It's fact. Your weapon was attacking the oxygen pockets above our city. Oxygen pockets? Lovely. Oh, but not so good with an impending drill. Now it makes sense. To offer the safe return of a layer. But do oh, they care? You and she, what is it? Same genetic source? Of course, you're worried, but don't be. She's safe. Claim to come in peace. Hold one of us hostage. Wait, wait, we all the same thing here. Yeah? I don't negotiate with apes. I'm going to send a clear message to those on the surface. What's that? Your execution. 
seems uh, a little aggressive this morning. Let's take a breather. These chambers are all over the city. Let's not act like raptors. Oh, they're gonna take other suits or something? They're gonna hop in? Yo, Amy's wild. <laughs> Still it up. Yeah. We don't stand a chance. We have to find the doctor. I would be shitting myself. You know? If I was in like half of these, more than half of these situations, I would be panicking. Dad. Long time ago, I met another tribe of Homo erectus. Similar, but not identical. Others of our species have survived. The humans attacked them. They died, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think we should tell them that. They'll be like, oh, no worry, it's not that big deal. I guess we'll, you know, chill in the war. race. What's the cure? Just come in and hot. Because if you don't... Uh-oh. I'm gonna have to use this on you. She stays strapped. Now you reveal yourselves. First you take my son, now you hurt my dad. I'm just protecting my family. I'm not a killer, but don't push me. <laughs> I don't want to use it. Use it on me. But you're too afraid. A woman who can't even protect her own child must be too weak to take it. <laughs> I, I didn't want to do that. Are you alright? Tell me, what's the cure for my dad? He's vermin. He deserves a painful death. I'm giving you a chance. The one with the most to lose. The weakest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a nurse. You should have. What have you done? Did she get taunting me about Mo and Elliot and you? <laughs> Talk shit, get hit. I'm sorry. We have to be better than this. She wouldn't tell me anything. I thought sooner or later she'd give in. I would have done. I just. I just want my family back, Dad. I'm sorry. And soon the war will begin. And not dying. Damn, you started this. Thank you, not today. <gasps> oh no, she might shed her skin. You're not authorized to do this. I am authorized to protect the safety of a species while they sleep. Ooh, lovely. Very gleaming. This is our court and our place of execution. Let them go. Hey, me. Paul, there's a ghost to rely on. You're covered both ways, so don't try anything clever, Buster. Bitch is not even a gun. No. Now let them go, or I shoot. I'm warning you. <laughs> don't you touch her. And you. <sighs> All right, Restek. You've made your point. <laughs> well, she ignited, she ignited a war, I believe. Who is the ape leader? It's them. How are they doing that? How do they know that we're in here? Who speaks for the apes? Don't tell them what's happened. Okay, this guy's interesting. How do you negotiate if you killed your hostage? I speak for the humans. Some of us, anyway. We have ape hostages. Doctor! Amy! Mo! Mo! Hey, are you okay? I'm fine, love. I, I found Elliot. I'm bringing him home. <laughs> Amy, I thought I'd lost you. Well, because I was sucked into the ground. You're so clingy. Tony Mac! Uh, having fun down there? Uh, not to interrupt, but... Just a quick reminder to stay calm. We're about to be calm. executed. <laughs> Show me a layer. 
and release her immediately unharmed, or we will kill your friends one by one. You really no! Up. I'm Bruce. Study now, everyone. Oh. We're not doing what you say anymore. Now give me back my family! You don't got much to stand on here. You killed the hostage. That was your bargaining chip, buddy. No. Yeah! <laughs> Execute the girl. Oh my god. No! No! Wait! Mommy! She's not speaking fast! There's no need for this! Listen! Listen! Whatever you want, we'll hey, do it! Hey, me! Oh, who? Whomst? You want Pope? to start a war while the rest of us sleep, Restak? It's the Pope. The apes are attacking us. You're our protector, not our commander, Restak. Unchain them. Do not recognize your authority at this time, Eldane. Well then, you must shoot me. <laughs> he said, and what? <laughs> Try me. You won't care to undermine me. We're not monsters, and neither are they. Red polluted this planet. Shush now, Vestak. Go and play soldiers. I'll let you know if I need you. I can actually see these people returning in the future if, we, get down there. if they Maureen. are to survive oh, or whatever happens. Hello! Where's Amy? She's fine, look. Oh, thank you. she is. We lay up, we hand her over, we can land this after all. All gonna work, I promise. Got a dash? Hurry up! No, why would you hang up? There was a the cat. moment we get down there, everything will fall apart. Fact. We have to return her. We deserve at least that. What are you gonna do? Is he gonna transform into her? But then it's. Well, I'd say you've got a fair bit to talk about. How oh, sure. You both have a planet. You both have a genuine claim to it. Is this what happens in the future? The planet gets shared. Is that what we need to do? Uh, what are you talking about? Oh, Nazarene. Sorry. Probably worth mentioning at this stage. Amy and I travel in time a bit. Anything else? A couple of there are ago? fixed points through time where things must always stay the way they are. This is not one of them. This is an opportunity, a temporal tipping point. Whatever happens today will change future events, create its own timeline, its own reality. The future pivots around you, here, now. So do good for humanity and for Earth. Right. Hmm. Wish you're there then. We can't share the planet. Nobody on the surface is going to go for this idea. It is just too big a leap. Come on. Be extraordinary. Uh, okay, sure. I like that okay. Like we were saying in the comment section, top tier companion material. Bringing things to order. We have to hand her back. Wait. Before we go down, there's something I've got to do. What? Dad? Is she gonna sacrifice herself later I on? Need help. Mm. No, no way! Please, Dad, just a precaution. I told you I won't do it. Look, look at what they did to you. This isn't about me or you. No, it's about your grandson. Malachi, I rather love you. <laughs> See? <laughs> we can wake him. Right, I hope there's no catch with him. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, you know you just like get like a spidey sense you're about to sneeze out of nowhere? Come. Where are we? Well, uh, I gotta be honest with you, son. We have no clue. We're in the center of the earth, and there are lizard men. I forgive you. Eleven's been sloppy, guys. A little sloppy. You go on, Doctor. I'll catch up. Like, like, Nine would, would never let right. this shit happen. He'd keep Operation. it on lock. sustain the people who live there and you want to add a whole other species to to drain resources as i sat there that day across the oh, table from the, humans, the future of both species and of our beloved planet earth rested in our hands but as the discussions went on i began to despair about whether we would ever find any common ground Thanks. on a side note this is incredibly problematic <laughs> If this were actually, obviously this is just a show stuff, but just plucking two random people to discuss the fate of humanity, like, lol. They're all deserted. Uh-oh. Snake movements. What are you doing? Protecting our race against the apes. 
You can't do this. You're a good scientist, Malachi. Doctor's gonna be so disappointed. Something's wrong. Doctor, what's he carrying? No. Don't do this. Tell me you didn't do this. Oh my goodness. It's like a showdown. What did you do? It was me. I did it. Mom, I just wanted you back. <laughs> oh, you know what the doctor doesn't even talk to Sorry, you? I, I messed up. You have to believe me. They're better than this. This is our planet. We had a chance here. Leave us alone. In future. When you talk about this, you tell people there was a chance, but you are so much less than the best of humanity. My sister. Sister. <gasps> Not like this. Side note: She also looks like a, you know, the fruit, like an avocado, wrapped up in the, the grocery store. Anyway. And you want us to trust these apes, Doctor? One woman. She was scared for her family. She is not typical. I think she is. One person let us down, but there is a whole race of dazzling people. Oh, this is an interesting beings. conflict. Fifteen minutes. What? What choice did I have? They had Elliot. Don't do this. Don't call their bluff. Let us go back. And you promise to never come to the surface ever again. We'll walk away. Leave you alone. Execute her! Yeah, she does it. She does it. Everybody back to the lab, right? Execute all the aids! Oh, This ends here. No! It only ends with our victory! Like I said, one They're not giving up. I mean, and y'all really he tossed that match right there. It was close. Oh, he's still with them. Oh my god. surrounded him yet. No, the question is, how do we stop the drill given that we can't get there on time? Plus, also, how do we get out given that we're surrounded? Nazarene, how do you feel about an energy pulse channeled up through the tunnels to the base of the drill? To blow up my life's work? Yes. You activate shutdown, I'll amend the system, set your alarm for a thousand years' time. A thousand years to sort the planets out, to be ready, pass it on as legend or prophecy or religion, and somehow make it known. This planet is to be shared. Well, go! All of you, go! Well, we're not leaving you here. Run, Dad! True. Eight minutes, ten seconds. Now you look after your mum. You mustn't blame her. She only did what she thought was right. You be sure and get some safe. This is my fault. No, I can't go back up there. I'd be a freak show. The technology down there is my only hope. I guess I'll be the. Uh... I love you, Dad. Correspondent for humanity. Return to cryo. No! Toxic no. fumigation initiated. Return to cryo. This is not the order! Toxic fumigation. Oh, she got bodies. Okay, okay, everyone follow Nazareth. Look for Lost her sister. Get ready to run. Invasion failed. About to get lit up. I'm sorry. I thought for a moment our race and the humans. Yeah. Me too. Doctor, we've got less than six minutes. Go, go! I'm right behind you. I'm not coming either. What? What? Yeah, so it's like, it's literally, I was gonna say what? Oh, for goodness' sake! We're gonna hibernate with them, me and Tony. Doctor, you must go. 
I've got what I was digging for. I can't believe I've only just found it. Doctor! You're brilliant. Thank you, Doctor. The pleasure was all mine. Come and look for us. Hey. So yeah, this oh so yeah, this is probably gonna be a setup for a future episode, maybe even season. Other way, idiot! Freaking Roy. What? What? No hair. Not now. Oh! It's getting wider. Shit! My bedroom wall. Two parts of space and time that should never have touched right here. And the Byzantium. All through the universe, rips in the continuum. Four minutes fifty, we have to go. Yeah. The angels laugh when I didn't know. Prisoner zero, and everybody knows except me. Doctor, just leave it. But where there's an explosion, there's shrapnel. Doctor, you you can't put your hand in there. Why not? What are you doing? What, the Cyberman hand? Okay, get in the TARDIS, both of you. Roy! Backdooring the death of Rory. I just started to like him a lot. Oh, the season's starting to get to, to the motion. This is spicy. I think this is the first teardrop this season so far. Oh, man. It was a roaring 20s, and now it's the Great Depression. This is what he's absorbed. I'll forget him. He'll never have existed. Yo, they're actually about to control alt delete Rory? Doctor, we can't delete. Keep him in your mind. Don't forget him. If you forget him, you lose him forever. No way on the Byzantium. I still remember the clerics because I am a time traveler, not you, sir. You were part of your world. This is different. This is your own history changing. Okay. It's going to be hard, but you can do it. Hey. Tell me about Rory, huh? Fantastic Rory. Funny. Rory, gorgeous Rory. Amy, listen to me. Do exactly as I say. Amy, please, keep concentrating. You can do this. I can't help you unless you do. Come on. We can still save his memory. Come on, Amy. Please. Aw, oh, poor guy. Don't let anything distract you. Rory's only alive in your memory. You must keep hold of him. Don't let anything distract you. Rory still lives in your mind. If that ring isn't even there, that, that wouldn't make much sense. If the box is there. What are you saying? What, did, did she unlock some power? He's alive? Doctor, five seconds till it all goes up. Hello? Raised. Good thing she's not here to see it. She's gonna give Tommy hell when they wake up. Rory's just dead then, all right. Those things shoot me. Now well, there's another way. You make him the best of humanity. In the way you couldn't be. You're very quiet. Oh, hey, look. There we go. Are you 
okay. I thought I saw someone else there for a second. I need a holiday. Didn't we talk about Rio? You go in. Just fix this lock. Keeps jamming. You boys and your locks for three. <laughs> My thoughts turn back to the doctor. The losses he suffered then. What was that? And the greater losses that were still to come. the same reaction i'm just like wait what what do you mean it's a piece of the of the poster wow and that was doctor who season five episode nine that was my reaction video y'all um this was a pretty good episode it was a little it was a little mixed bag here and there at, at some parts like the moments between i like i like i like the sort of scale stakes somewhat to this episode where it's humanity trying to negotiate with the homo uh reptilia and uh, I think the fact that it was a sort of like the soundtrack, I don't know, I don't know, something about the soundtrack really um, elevated this episode, in my opinion. Um, I liked uh, the emotion too later in the half where, we, it the, where she had to deal with, damn, I killed our only hostage and the sort of that aspect like humans are supposed to be so great yet they, they, they mess up here and they, they're in the middle of negotiating and this is what happened, right? It was a fault in humanity, I like those aspects. Uh, and yeah, I thought uh, Karen Gill's performance was pretty, pretty all right here. Um, the crying sequence, the crying uh, that sequence, the whole sequence with Rory was wild. Did not see that coming. Not to mention the fact that I tied him with the rip in space and time. Uh, the ending right there with the piece of the the TARDIS. Like, what does that entail? Um, seems like things are gonna start really picking up as we head towards the finale. But um, I actually did like the second half of this episode more so than the first part. Uh, Nazarene's a really cool character, and as they set up this larger scale of how in a thousand years they're going to share the earth, so they set up. I think this is going to be a pretty crucial episode. Like, there's a lot of there's a few episodes in like episode f in season four. I'm like, oh, this was just like an okay episode to me. Like, it was a good to okay episode, and then it had large implications like the plan of the Ood, um, and stuff like that. So, the interest to see where what's going to spawn from it, right? Uh, and yeah, Rory. I mean, come on, dude. There's gonna, there's gonna have to be more of that. There's no way. Um, and for some reason, I wish they actually played that scene up a little bit more. They just jumped right back to teaching, you know, uh, her the lesson about, you know, being a better human. I kind of wish they might have done that before and then played out the emotional bits with, with uh, the death of Rory um, a little bit more. So, uh, minor complaint, but yeah, that was my thoughts on this episode, y'all. What did you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. For the first half, it just seemed like it was just gonna be an okay episode, like uh, similar to the first half, and then uh, they just boom went and elevated it a little bit more. So that was my reaction, y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you enjoyed, if you did, then be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And again, y'all. In case you're interested in getting the full Unid Raw reactions and more and extra uploads, then definitely check out patreon.com slash 34 in the description down below. With that being said, I will see you all next time, y'all. Peace.